All right, wasting some time here with the replay sent in by Ignatius Hood, tier 10 uh, premium Iowa class battleship, the Missouri. Um, you know, I'm uh, grinding up to get the Missouri myself. I'm uh, I think five five hundred and sixty thousand free XP away from uh, getting it. It's going to take me more than a few months. There was a nice tail wag from uh, Dex. And Ignatius is on, this is shards, and uh, domination mode. Shots out at the Bismarck, mostly a swing and a miss there, getting close. And, uh, and there's a Neptune in that smoke right there. Radar is almost uh, off in the cooldown. Kind of jumped into uh, a little bit of the later bit of the battle. It's been about five inches or so. Not, nothing too exciting has happened. Shots out on the Neptune. Neptune... Uh, Realizes he's being spotted by radar and decides to get out of there. So that's the big thing with the uh, with the Missouri. It has radar and slightly better Citadel armor uh, protection in the front. And there's my chair just popped. Lots of weird noises so far. Pretty awesome. Competence is not guaranteed uh, when I make videos. Shots out on the Neptune. Let's see if we can uh, get this guy. Enemy shores. A nice hit, 12,000 damage, two penetrations, one bounce. I wonder what it bounced off of. Uh, Neptune is running. Shores is backing up. He's doing a thing. <laughs> this Shores. It's always funny when uh, people do uh, the, the random crazy thing. I guess he... I wonder if he backed up to launch torques or were those from the Neptune? Those are probably from the Neptune. That, those are from the Shores. Most likely, maybe... I think the, those torpedoes go six kilometers, if I not correctly, or are they just still four? Anyway, it's kind of, ooh, big hits from the uh, Neptune on the broadside. You can uh, mitigate most of the damage from uh, these British cruisers if you are bow into them with a battleship, but uh, Ignatius, had, Ignatius had to make that turn. Having trouble talking, apparently. That's nothing new. Uh, the camo on the, the Missouri, I mean, eventually I'll get one. I'm, you know, a few months from getting it. Uh, probably run with blue camo because that's uh, the way I like. So you get this camo, I believe, and there is the blue camo. Or is this just a... No, why is... Ignatius, why are you running that camo? <laughs> just out of curiosity. I thought it was uh, not this camo. That I guess you put this on there for reasons and things, which people do sometimes. Enemy Pensacola is trying to run away, throwing out some notes. Derp from above. That's kind of a funny name. <clears throat> so, yeah, long way to go for uh, me to get to the Missouri, but it uh, looks like a good ship. I mean, I like the, the Iowa. Uh, so if you have the Iowa and you like it, you might as well get this to get some... Uh, some of the monies. I'll show you the, the monies that uh, he is going to make in a minute here. Actually, I'll get that ready. Get it ready. You're going to hear me click around here for a second. Clicking around. Do a thing. Pay no attention to the clicking. Shots out on the Bismarck. Swing and a miss on that, not too much damage. Going bow in. Oh, yeah, the, the Bismarck is <laughs> secondaries over the mountain. Hey, secondaries over the mountain. That's always irritating. No enemy destroyers, just the one that started out. Uh, one enemy destroyer going to make this turn. Running the uh, and Ignatius also has uh, sounds like he has uh, Steven Seagal. That's right, Steven Seagal in uh, in the Missouri. I don't know if you y'all ever saw the uh, Steven Seagal had a show about him being a sheriff, and that was part of the entrance to where he announced himself. That's right. My name is Steven Seagal. <laughs> Uh, that guy. Interesting fellow. 
Russian citizen now. I don't know how the war gaming thinks you know, about that. He's putting him in an American ship and he's a Russian citizen now. I don't know if he renounced his American citizenship, but uh, he's was granted a Russian citizenship. U.S. is generally fairly chill about that unless somebody renounces their uh, citizenship. But, you know, that's kind of off topic. I think it'd be cool if you uh, they let them be a captain uh, for <laughs> Russian and American ships. That would be a uh, most amusing uh, fix to that situation. I'm going to go around this island uh, fairly beat up uh, Bismarck. Going after that uh, friendly destroyer. Let's see if uh, he lives. Enemy aircraft spotted and shot down. Decent uh, AA. Obviously, it's a uh, Iowa AA, so it's going to be able to do something. Shots out on the Pensacola and four serious penetrating hits, but no citadels. So it's okay. Probably a little high for hitting the citadel. But man, 14,000 damage. That guy's going to be feeling it. He's trying to get away, but there's not really anywhere to get away. He probably would have been better served if he had actually just charged and uh, rammed uh, Ignatius, you know what I mean? Right now, it's just like, please kill me. <laughs> uh, yeah, still fairly even. The uh, enemy team is up on caps. Ignatius is going to chase this Bismarck, it looks like, and try to... Uh, Finish him off. You don't want to uh, let a ship like that get away. That that is you know, under ten thousand. He's actually healing up right now. It's always a sight you don't really want to see. You want to kill these guys before they get back. Let's die. Secondaries tearing into. Uh, oh, that's a nice spot. Well, actually, three ever pins. Not really, but uh, secondaries speeding up. Uh, Ignatius here. And also getting some big hits. Got two fires. Definitely have to fix that nonsense. This mark. So I've been enjoying uh, World of Warships lately. Having a fairly good time playing the uh, Japanese destroyers. Even though they're, they're a bit uh, interesting. Maybe a Tago straight front. Hopefully a uh, uh, torpedo bombers. Torpedo bombers caught uh, Ignatius flat. That is not great. Enemy carrier does a thing right there. Goodness. That hurts. Shots out on the uh, enemy Otago. 13,000 damage. No citadels again. Uh, that's not great. Really low. This Otago isn't firing, so you gotta assume he's trying to launch torpedoes or he doesn't have uh, the rudder shift to get his guns around. I, he's doing a thing there. He was launching torpedoes. Yeah, it's not the best, best idea, Otago. <laughs> Going broadside to launch your torpedoes and not even shooting. Yeah, not the not the greatest uh, plan there, sir. Uh, ooh, Ignatius has a fire. He is low health, and that fire is going to go for for a full burn. That's unfortunate. Heal is about to be up in 17 seconds, so that will. That's going to be pretty close as far as the burn. 3,600. 31. Ooh. <laughs> no. Choose life. Is it going to run out before he dies? And. 337. <laughs> All the way down to 337 health. That's, uh. Oh, man. That happens, you feel fairly dainty in the uh, Tier 9 battleship. You don't want anybody touching you. <laughs> Going bow in on uh, Enemy Iowa that's coming around. This uh, Enemy Iowa, yeah, could uh, definitely get some really bad damage into Ignatius if he uh, knew he was here or saw him. It's going to be a minute 15 for that next heal, which looks like a full heal, but... Uh, oh. Shots out on Marco Romano. <laughs> 8,000 damage, not bad, not, not great. Enemy secondaries opening up on uh, Ignatius. That's uh, definitely not good. Hopefully they don't set a fire, but he does have the... Uh, put it up. 
A nice volley from the rune into the uh, Iowa close range. Let me get see those volley out. And there, finally, <laughs> there we go. He's finally dead. He did finish off the uh, friendly rune before he, before he was destroyed, though. Oh, if the enemy carrier caught to Ignatius right now, that'd be really bad news. Uh, it does have a Dimitri Tonskoy there, so that could provide some AA. And there are the enemy torpedo bombers. I think uh, Ignatius probably would be uh, the easiest person to kill. But what, is the, what are those torpedo bombers doing? 121,000 damage so far. That's a pretty, pretty good game. <laughs> the voiceover from uh, Steven Seagal. Right. It's, uh, it's interesting. I wonder if we're only getting, going to get any more uh, B celebrity uh, <laughs> voiceovers. And it looks like they dropped on the Donskoy. Did they drop around him? They like dropped somewhere. They didn't do too much. Uh, nothing at all, I don't think, really. Enemy shard horse, but uh, take some pop shots at Ignatius here. Or somebody did. Where'd that come from? And base is captured. Uh, and they're gonna leave that uh, shard horse for the carrier to clean up. Yeah, that's not gonna be uh, too big of a deal for the carrier to clean that guy up. Enemy dive bombers coming in. That's not great. Uh, fairly uh, one-sided engagement now, minus the carrier. The carrier could uh, do something about this. It's going after the Donskoy again. I don't know if that's best choice, but it's a choice. Generally, if you make at least a choice, you get something out of it. Sail on to A. I'm gonna cut out to after the action ends here. I think it goes on for a bit uh, longer than I want to make this video for. Don't uh, don't like uh, to put out a full 20 minute video if I can cut some bits out of it. Enemy maroon. Did the enemy maroon give up? <laughs> uh, poor guys, AFK. He, he was playing, though. Uh, you know, if you've... Uh, let me know if you've had that happen. I've, I've known a few other people who have had the uh, more disconnects uh, as of late. I think there is actually a bug thread on the uh, Wargames forum about that also. I think it is an issue that uh, may have come up. Oh, man. AFKs are uh, nice to beat up on. Nice to it up. 22,000 damage. <laughs> Ah, uh, AFKs. A free kill. I always like those uh, enemy torpedo bombers coming in. Uh, Ignatius is being covered by the, uh, uh, the friendly carrier. I think probably cut away after this. Uh, I think this is the last kill he gets. Spoiler alert. Yeah, right? <laughs> He's going to kill an AFK. Get the Kraken. Uh, nice game. Thanks for sending in Ignatius. And uh, ooh, torpedoes coming in. Looks like they got strafed by the uh, friendly carrier right before they launched. Cause they lost like uh, three or four. And Nacius also shot some down too. And that is all she wrote for that battle. The uh, Sharn horse is about to die, I think, to the uh, friendly carrier and to the end screen. So, 171,000 damage and 1.1 million credits earned. That is uh, actually kind of silly uh, to the team panel now let's uh, get there 2500 base xp 5 kills 10 shot down definitely helped out the team hopefully uh may your grind to missouri be short and enjoyable it's a lot of free xp though uh man get there in a couple months myself probably nacy's already there decent amount of damage uh Potential damage, 1.5 million. I always kind of dig uh, seeing that. 111,000 damage received. Uh, definitely 
Definitely got beat up by the enemy team a bit right there. And to the credit screen. That is probably one of the more <laughs> important screens. Uh, so he did put the Ocean Soul and the Zulu. So that's why Ignatius was running the Ocean Soul uh, camouflage to get that 20 plus 20 and already uh, the silly amount of money you earn in the uh, in the Missouri anyways. Hopefully you all enjoyed. See you all next time.